Anarchy coming out with fantastic early wards again. Is cold to bottom lane. Sung taking a lot of damage. Might actually have the Sivir, but the Flash on Burrow will do it. Fixes super, super low. He might live just. And that's one kill unanswered for KT. At least that all followed, though. He was playing aggressively, but he had both the jungler in the enemy jungle and also some backing. And Sung is going to get turret dive. And there's the stun into the stun into the boomerang blade. Ixu is there with an equalizer. Not sure how much that's going to do. Snowflower back on his way down. TB onto Tibbers that's taking the turret. And Ixu is just going to go down right after that. What a wonderful TP from Sunday. Just excellent knowledge. Don't see that enough. And at the same time, it looks like Mickey will get mid turret. That's quite a heavy prize. Jen, so obviously he has to use blue cards more than he wants. Has to balance. Man oh, Fixer just gets caught and destroyed. Drops the Tibbers, but it does nothing. Turret's still very healthy. Uh, I don't know about leaving Ixu here like this, though. It's a little bit of a danger. Someday gets caught by a chain of corruption straight into a death set. And someday still there. Pops his ultimate. Snowflower going to be the first to fall. Arrow gets knocked against the wall by an explosive cast. Nogde with the flash forward onto the gold card. But there's just not enough follow-up. Lyra tries to get onto Nogde. Finds himself in the back line. Arrow is there. Arrow is autoing. Arrow gets the kill, but Corky, who is he going to get the cleanup here? Mickey wants the snipe. Score going to take a little bit, but that'll be a two for three trade. And uh, just efficiency of gold. Three pink wards from KT. Lyra's going to get caught. You can't be there right now. Chain of Corruption goes down, doesn't land onto Arrow. They see everyone with that what destiny. What they wanting to do, but... We already mentioned it's very difficult to do against this comp. Arrow is a bit lazy with his recoil. He's going to die for free. He thought he was in a... It just makes your positioning that more on point. You can be so aggressive if you have him. You can have Maokai push with Reckless Abandon top. Twisted Fate has popped the ultimate. He's going to go for the flank. Wow, look at that. Finds Mickey on the side. Combos him to 50%. Arrow with the flash forward. Killed by score, actually. And Lyra finds himself isolated and also a corpse. Let's really see how scared Anarchy's getting, and oh my, goodbye. Oh, Sonyun actually living for a while right there. Gets out with the help of a flash, but Ixu not going to be quite so fortunate. There's the unburrow, there is the kill. Snowflower going to be chased down all the way to his inhibitor. Goodbye. Really poor target selection. It doesn't even matter because it's a 5v3 scenario. They could have picked up and some turret advantage themselves. Unfortunately, KT are the teams that have been able to do that, even with their late game scaling. Lyra's going for the emergency, misses the explosive cast. The Rumble Equalizer burns down. Fix is dead. Anarchy, they get two kills, and Mickey's still alive. But the backline cavalry is here. Nagne going to actually zone you out right now. He will be focused down. Some days, the last man standing in an epic 1v3 that he's going to win. It would appear Ixu getting low. Ixu twisted events. Ixu gets hit by the arcade smash. And will the sapling be enough? He slowed. He's twisted advance. Now it's time for Lyra. Tank Wars. Someday wins. But so much closer. Remember, there was about an 8,000 gold lead coming through before that fight for KT. Have many well, cares. Lyra? No. Oh, Not wow. Ixu. Actually used the smite right there. Has to explosive cast. Still gets hit by the Timbers. Wild cards on his head. And there is a chilling smite. Can they finish it off? The answer is yes. Score so, steals the kill for no reason. Now they're ever present across the map. This is all without Civic Group. Just going to push down the mid. Another outer turret will fall. Only one going to be left on the map after picking up this objective. And someday you can tell by his health bar that he's pretty tanky. He's even going to go in right there. Equalizer down. Chain of Corruption down. There's not going to be follow-up. Thanks to the Varus ultimate, and there's the Righteous Glory Pop. KT starting to back off this one. Arrow has to flash out of the Flame Spitter, but not before he picks up a kill onto Sangyun. Two defenders remaining. That'll be enough considering the low HP bars for KT. And they are really going for the full vision denial right here. I mean, they could do this. There's the stun, and Snowflower gets caught. Gold card will lock him up. Rex is just walking into and the back here line. here we go. Are we going to see that destiny? Yes, we will. Oh, goodbye, though, to Nagne before he can use the Zonia's Hourglass. Now they're still moving forward. Great stun, and that'll be 
a cleanup probably onto Ixu. He's on top of Arrow, but Arrow going to get the fadeaway boomerang blade for the kill. Yeah, Sung is actually going to get aggressed onto Someday, goes back in, goes for the turret dive, tanks a lot of turret shots, so probably going to fall, though. These Maokai is super tanky, high base first, lives! and takes down the ADK, now fighting against Lyra, gets another passive prop, Someday's gonna live. And he is, Arrow actually forcing the flash onto Lyra right there. We've seen two really good Maokai fights tonight, one from Smeb, one from Someday now, playing on the brink, using that auto attack to get up, but uh, KT still taking some lumps right there as the Foss Bomb combo just annihilated Nogne before he could hit his Zonias. Speaking of annihilation, don't know if Thresh has the damage. Has Ignite up, really wants Arrow to step through one of these walls. Doesn't do it. You know, it's probably a bad <laughs> point in the game when you try and duel the enemy Sivir who has Infinity Edge, Bloodthirster, it's really, Static Shift. It's really the Bloodthirster. When you see that, you should know you can't actually duel her anymore if you're a Thresh. Probably would have met more uh, stream viewers if you'd been able to pick up that solo kill. So <laughs> maybe not the worst reason to go for that one. It's going to be the fourth dragon. So didn't think KT need another win condition, but add that one to the list. Yeah, was, they, they want everything in this game, Papa. And this is the Baron that's been prepped for the last, what, seven minutes of the game. There's never been a chance to get wards around. Scrying all comes through. Snowfly was doing his best, but how do you get anywhere near with all this oh, pixie Oh, Song Yu needs a gold card to start the fight. Bad equalizer, not going to do much of anything at all. Ixu going to pay with his life for that. And now just an attempt at a disengage, but someday's not done yet. Just moving through the enemy team. Arrow on cleanup duty. Arrow going to get the triple kill. Nagne, Snowflower, Quadra kill. Can they get the pentakill? There's the stop. Lyra, is he going to go down to Arrow? Another pentakill to Double tonight. pentakill! <laughs> so good. Great job from KT to prep that one. Two pentakills in back-to-back -back games. One for Smeb's Riven, one for Arrow's Sivir, and that's going to be the end of the game. The best exclamation mark to end what has been an entertaining game. They don't have the minions and the people are going to respawn too, but there's the surrender. KT rolls still. We wondered if they bounced back from what was a poor series. They just snuck over against IM and then objectively poor against the Ku Tigers. This is the KT rolls to... Kenny, you, you basically get hard countered by this Allison. Now we're seeing some nice pathing come through, so Mickey could be in a lot of trouble. Score's gonna show up behind. Flash on Burrow comes in. Is there enough damage? It's looking like the answer's yes. Score picks up the kill credit, and KT, they get rolling at three and a half minutes. Yeah, Nagne wanted to actually get another spell down there, but he had just used his ability, so... Maybe some more turret diving if she gets the Cinder Hulk very early. Yeah, we'll see what Score could do. Definitely some nice pathing there to start out this game. Good trade going on. There's a Gragas, though. Snowflower getting very low. Are they going to pursue this? No, KT doesn't know where Lyra is. Lyra coming in right now. Fixer has to flash. There's a knockback and the kill. Lyra picking it up with an auto attack. Song Yun and Snowflower taking the brunt. And man, Lyra had. It is. I think he may have started on B, actually, but. Speaking of Sunday, taking a lot of damage. Is he going to win this trade? He does. Wow. And that's going to be his death at the end. Lyra gets another kill and Cannon gets headbutted over a ledge. Probably going to see plenty of that headbutt act that action. Just bringing it back to the original point. Very good against the AP Cannon because it's going to be kiting backwards. Maybe not going to be as much uh, of a boon for the Alistair. During all this time, Score and Sunday easily taking down this dragon. Someday still has teleport, so can use it defensively, of course. It'll be on a very similar timer. Dragging down to 400, how they have two smites, so surely one of them can get the work done. And Someday gets the work done indeed. Nagne caught out, has to flash TP coming in onto a gravity field. Kind of awkward. Can Nagne actually get out of this, though? Ooh, he's getting with a twisted advantage. Gotta get slowed, gotta no, get no, no. poked, and there he goes. They trade at least one kill. Anarchy wants to dive this fixer. Uh, now a corpse. Two Next kills to a for a dragon and the use of teleport. So maybe someday can make it worthwhile that he still has teleport available. If they take down this bottom lane tower, that's a big objective win. I don't Anarchy. think they can. No, they have to back off. There's no damage yet. I mean, look at Sung Yoon's build. He has a dagger. 
That's, you know, more more <laughs> of the... Uh... Score looking for a play right here. TBTB from Someday coming in right now. There's a double knockup. Smite goes down. No red buff secured. Someday comes in to massacre his enemies. No ult for him to go over the wall yet. Score slides into the Baron pit, or Dragon pit, rather. And two for one and a dragon. Just about worth for KT, but still very precariously closed. At this point, though, they've got a lot of these spears down, and they secure it. Uh, KT trying to rocket their way to victory. They're happy, though. They got Ix a lot actually of... in a lot of trouble. Red yeah. buff and now half health. Still has ultimate here someday. We're going to need to see some sevens and outplay he from Ix. So dead. he wants to get under the turret. What can he do? This is not someday's Maokai from the previous game. And Nangna even comes and uh, accepts the <laughs> gratification of a gift. Oh, tribute for Nagne in the top lane. Thank you, Someday. From Aris, they have to be very careful with the trades. Well, in that particular case, score was already there, so they didn't bite the bait. The bait. Spirit Rush is used. They want to get onto Nane. There's no chance he has the damage, but Lear is there as well. Actually picks up the trade kill. Isn't going to be able to get out as far as we can see. Nope. Nagne so thoroughly outplayed Mickey right there. They had so many wards in the river. Uh, Lyra trying to wrap around through the tri brush, not really going to work. Mickey just desperately wave clearing at the moment. And unfortunately for Anarchy, even though they're even in kills, so much of this gold is on the grog. It's 3 0 and 1 compared to basically the gold exactly where you want to see it on KT. We're seeing a big dive though. Fate's Call is used. Ixu's low, a lot of low members. We're waiting to see this going to engage more members here. 4v3 though, 1 4 so far. So Anarchy. Finally getting some kills. They're going to keep pumping these arrows into Fixer. Yeah, double kill, but look what's happening on the bottom side of the map. There is just no defense whatsoever. Now, Hecarim going to be coming back into the top side. Hecarim has TB. Well, they just lost an inhib turret and a tier two for a tier one. So, I mean, probably shouldn't knock it till you try it. Want to set this up for you. Oh boy, big engage, huge headbutt pull combo. And now Score uh, gets pulled into the fight afterwards. Someday still in that front line, finds Lyra on the outside. Song unit auto hitting in the back line, but there is a massive, massive Hecarim ult. Good hold from Someday on that till the end of the fight. And that is a dead 80 carry. Should mean the free Baron, like you suggested. They're poking around the area, multiple members now around, but. Yeah, they peel off, actually. Snowfire's caught. Do they have the range on the Alistair? Fate's call takes him away, but someday ults in. And now he's going to find both of them right there. Uh, he gets charmed up on the side. Teleport going to be coming in from Ixu, but Nagne right in the middle of things. Will he actually survive? No, he gets killed by Mickey, actually. Now Fixer in the mix, knocking everyone up. Ixu takes a headbutt, but Lyra does enough damage here that they actually will have to pull back KT someday, not with enough HP to continue. It's actually a really poor play from Nagne. It's important to notice that someday has itemized much space to move around. The charm comes through, but it's doesn't really have a lot of damage behind it. That's the pick onto Mickey. Uses the Spirit Rush. Someday, again, doesn't have a lot of damage. So he wants to change targets. It's Victor that is the true damage threat of this team. But without Flash, he has to play pretty conservatively. We're waiting to see if we do see the Onslaught of Shadow. Still hasn't been used. Pushes Ixu back. Snowfire comes in. We're watching Nagna in the back line doing damage. But Someday has decent base as The Maokai dies. And Someday's still going. And that was just a good follow-up from Nagna. Using that speed, but the Callista actually kills the Hecarim right there. KT has such a gold advantage and such a... And honestly, even though he does no damage, he also takes no damage, so he's happy to be in the split push. All right, KT wants to make a play. They have everyone from Anarchy there. Someday getting charmed, someday getting so low as to ult back out. Now, will they be able to take a kill? Lyra very tanky. Mickey gonna finish off Arrow on the outside, and now Fixer gets charmed into the middle of the fight, and that is it. Looks like there's the slicing Maelstrom. KT may get aced right here. Nagne gonna go down. That's gonna be a Baron for Anarchy. To look for, but with a comp like they have. Uh-oh, Righteous Glory coming in. Fixer wants the engage. Fixer pops his ultimate death ray on the outside. Good zoning gravity field. Someday can't find an angle to come in, and that'll mean Fixer goes down very early. Arrows knocked up, knocked around by the explosive cast. Someday has done nothing this team fight, and that'll be a flash for score. They're trying to finish him off, and they will. Oh boy. This would be. Someday didn't even get remotely close to the back lines of that engagement. He was just running in circles on the outside. 
Well, someday not wanting to make the teleport flank play here at the very least. They must be worried about uh -oh. the Lira actually threat. gets caught. That is huge. Victor going for Chaos Storm. Nagde trying to be the hero. Can't kill the juggler, but gets him low enough. Now everyone focusing Ixu. Someday on the other side provides a target for the Twisted Advance. But that's a Valk over the wall. That's an ultimate. That's a dead tree eventually. And there now there are many, many things that KT can pick up. Fifth Dragon. Baron will be spawning in a couple minutes. But the Fifth Dragon especially. Suddenly. Nope. I just take the risk of going for something. Now, Anarchy gonna try and actually sneak this out. Looks like this is their last hope. They're gonna try and get it down. It's about 10K right now, under 10K, but this is probably the end of Anarchy. They're just gonna try and go for the Clist to 50-50, but they have to re-engage. The Slicing Maelstrom rips through the team. Sungyu finally turns his aggro. He's still free hitting, that's the important fact here. They're actually onto Arrow. Arrow's gonna die solo in the back line. Hecarim's very, very strong. We're waiting for Clist to get back in this fight. Nagnate's super, super low. Can the Callista do enough damage onto Someday? He's just moving around. We're waiting for the Ren to actually use the Ren. There's the Ren. Oh my. Fixer is the only one alive right now, but Anarchy can't actually close this game in the end. It doesn't look like they may try and charge the base. Long death timers. Can they actually close? They only have cannon for wave clear, so. It's, look, he's got stuns, maybe he can buy a little bit of time, but they need to, at minimum, break the base. I don't even know if that's a pass mark. They have a lot of damage on the Sangyun. I think they can actually finish this game right now. 35 seconds. This Alistair has to be an absolute hero at the moment. He may wait for his unbreakable will. Kennen's doing all he can to defend. They've got... Fixer has to keep him off the turret, but he has no ult quite yet. 20 seconds left for Cork. He can fix it by any semblance of time. They're just going to dive onto him. He's going to die instantly. That's it. Anarchy are going to win a game that looked over at 16 minutes. What a comeback from Anarchy. But wow, KT with a massive slip up. And we're going to go to game three. This is not a team you can take lightly. SKT found that out. Now KT played an excellent 15 minutes, bought this game completely into her advantage, and then just threw it away. Absolutely. Over-aggression was the name of the game for KT, but Anarchy keeps their cool and they keep fighting back and it pays off. of uh, collapsing with the jungle and buys Rengar a bit of time. Rengar's down bottom lane. Here we go. And there's the root on the ultimate. That'll be first blood, and it's given over to Someday. Twisted Fate and Rengar <laughs> have different kits, good sir. I'm just saying it's a big difference in story as Sangyun gets just Flash ambushed. Pulled. Sangyun can do nothing whatsoever. Doesn't even have level six, although flashes and heals. Fleet of Foot, though, doing a lot of work. Just the heal coming through from Fixer. Tanks up the turret. He almost made a really crafty escape, but it's there. Right, Here so we go, TP. All right, so they actually are going to react to this in the end. Now, what could they get for an equalizer across the choke? Lyra Ooh. on the lantern, but the damage. So will they... Will KT actually look to try and create a big... There's the ultimate used by Rengar. He's going to jump onto Mickey immediately. And there's the Requiem, or the uh, Equalizer, rather. And Mickey just gets destroyed instantly. Double kill for Someday. Ixu going to shut him down, however. And uh, Nagbe still not really a part of this fight right now. Starting to wrap around. Wants the kill on Lyra. Going to find it. Lyra body slamming through. And there will be eventually... Uh, Rift Walk. The, ex the amount of buff duration will extend on kills and assists. So I think not enough players pick up this Elixir of Wrath when they're in a position to, and they've been kind of out rotated. So they're at least going to uh -oh. lose that tower. Mickey gets the headbutt. Arrows there on the side. Big, big boomerang blade, but he'll get taken out of harm's way with the lantern. Can they commit? Missed Bola. Big equalizer, and that's going to be it someday. And Arrow tag teaming for a kill into the back line. That long range engage doing them. Wasn't even enough for them last game. Oh, oh you go in pick. again. Yeah. Oh, throw the Hunt, used. There, there comes Score from the side. He's got the root onto Lyra. Big explosive cast. Lyra still gets knocked around and into harm's way. Song Yoon takes a bunch of damage, but again, Snowflyer with the Lancer. Turn around now with the Onslaught of Shadow. Someday still firing harpoons. They've got control of the brush someday. So much rumble damage. Doesn't get both kill credits, but certainly did the lion's share of the damage. 
Uh, here we go. Here is On the, the thrill of the hunt path that seeing Sunfire Force first. It's a huge equalizer, but it's only a zony one. Splits the team, but Nagane has Flash available. Victor's dead. No semblance of wave clear left. So it's going to be at minimum an inhibitor. Yeah, now they power through the turret. Inhibitor going to be the focus. Not really a way. So they prepped away, but unfortunately it's just a single minion, so they have to back away. Gets hooked here to someday, but doesn't have equalizer. It's still nice. don't know if you want to do this Ball equal. Yeah, it's still riding onto the Alistair. He's tanking it up. So Nane in the back line takes down Sung Yoon. Mickey hasn't even got back to the fight yet. Doesn't have home guard boots. It's going to be at minimum this inhibitor. And I think this time we're talking about a decisive lead for KT. Yeah, 16 to 1 in terms of kills already. 4 0 and 8 for Nagdes Cassidy looking. Yeah, surely this will be. Gacy turning on to Baron. Nope, actually, Ixu just going to go in. There's a death ray. Oh, there the equalizer oh, massive into the back line. Thresh roasted. Lyra's still alive, but going to fall soon. Ixu comes back into the fight because he realized this game is completely over and at long last, 20 to 1. Those were probably the odds of good old Anarchy <laughs> winning the previous game, but they managed to do it, but they certainly won't win this one. They won't indeed, and KT comes again. They always deliver these very high kill wins. They're very good at playing around that Sivir, and after a bit of a scare in the last one, there really wasn't any hope for Anarchy in that last game, taking a pretty big deficit right from the beginning, and KT runs away with it. KT answers some questions, unfortunately poses more, especially with their game to they play well with Siva, this part is established, but if that pick is off the table, or if they just opt away from it, we still have to really, we, rem we have to remain to be convinced. We need to be skeptical because they haven't shown much new this series. No, they certainly haven't. And that vulnerability to the Siva ban, you wonder why some of these other teams aren't taking it away from them because they just put such an incredible priority on it.